Cincinnati, Canadian Denis Shapovalov advanced to the second round of the Western. Shapovalov, from Richmond Hill, won on his second match point after a two-handed backhand volley from TFO landed well outside the court. Denis Shapovalov, from Richmond Hill, won on his second match point after a two-handed backhand volley from Francis TFO landed well outside the court. Nathan Dinette, the Canadian press file photo, the 19-year-old Canadian looked to be in trouble when he went down a break at 4-5 in the third set. But he broke TFO to tie the set, and then again to win. Shapovalov struggled with his serve at times, committing 13 double faults to just one for his opponent and only landing 53% of his first serves. But when his first serve was accurate, he won 81% of those points, including 10 aces, in a match that lasted 2 hours 18 minutes. Shapovalov will face Britain's Kyle Edmund next in what is shaping up to be a competitive rivalry. They have met five times over the past two years, with Shapovalov holding a 3-2 edge. Article continued Bela Milos Ruanica Thornhill was scheduled to face Serbian qualifier Dusan Lajovic in the first round on Tuesday. Ruanic and Shapovalov could potentially face off for the second time if they advance to the third round. Read more. Denis Shapovalov's lessons in losing at Wimbledon opinion, Rosie DeMano, Denis Shapovalov and Milos Ruanic are Canada's two tennis solitudes Canada's Felix Augurelio seems stuns Lucas Poole at Rogers Cup to advance to second round also Monday, Andy Murray lost to Lucas Poole 6-1, 1-6, 6-4, clearing another obstacle for Roger Federer in this U.S. Open tune-up. Top-seeded Rafael Nadal dropped out Sunday night to prepare for the U.S. Open after winning his fifth title of the year in Toronto. Federer, seeded second, has won in Cincinnati a record seven times but hasn't played there since winning in 2015. 2016 he had a knee injury, and in 2017 he had back problems. Article continued below, Cincinnati has always been a good tournament for me, said Federer, the reigning Australian Open champion. I was sad not to play here last year, and two years ago there wasn't a chance. I'm glad to be back, even with the top-ranked Nadal missing, Federer liked the strength of this field, especially with Murray and Wimbledon champion Novak Djokovic also successfully recovering from injuries. Murray had his best results since missing 11 months following hip surgery when he reached the quarterfinals in Washington two weeks ago, that's why you have such a good, exciting draw, Federer said before Murray's match was over. It's a pity Rafa isn't playing. He would have added massively to that part of the draw, Grigor Dimitrov, the defending champion who is seeded fifth, was not entirely upset about Nadal's absence, when Rafa is missing, he's missed, not so much by the players as much as the fans, he said. All joking aside, I love spending time with Rafa and practicing with him and playing with him. I would be the last person to say I wouldn't want to play with him. Monday's first full day of main draw competition opened with wildcard Victoria Azarenka, a two-time Australian Open champion, coming back to beat Carla Suarez Navarro 6-7, 5, 6-2, 6-4.